So we realize that these groups, uh, they have their leader, they have a command structure, and out of the conclusions we are getting from them is we will arrest the group leader and then he tells us his or her other associates. So that means that there has been some level of organization in terms of this group. So we organize it uh, with that command structure and we call uh, operations to all of them, including the leaders and those they have been uh, working with. We have an SMG or AK-47, and we is, we is, uh, is 24 rounds of ammunition. An SMG is 24 rounds of ammunition as part of our companies. We have got a pistol, uh, it's a revolver pistol, uh, which they have also been using with nine rounds of ammunition. We have got a toy pistol. Some of them have been operating with toy pistols to uh, terrorize our people. We have pangas in the world more than Jambia, which have been rampant. So the pangas, uh, we recovered uh, four of them. Uh, four of them, and, and even when you get them, they tell you that yes, this is how we have been surviving using this kind of uh, tools, and we are working on their findings make sure they are also producing more point. And on basically three main uh, offenses, number one, aggravated robbery, uh, simple robbery, uh, burglary, and theft are uh, most of the, the cases uh, which have been done. Again, one of our strategies is to continue other policing strategies that the community policy is very impressive, and we are to bring all of you on board in terms of being so vigilant and sharing information. And we link this community intelligence, crime prevention, detection, and reduction. And it's through that community intelligence that we are really making 